Hello guys, in this short video I'm going to show you how to use, in my opinion, the best free video converter, Prism Video File Converter Free. It is available for both Mac and Windows and um, we can easily download and install it by going to the official site uh, which is uh, here um, that I have already opened. You can download the free version from here. There is a uh, better version also but uh, for most of the cases uh, it should work and I have found this is this is best of the several options so uh, for the Windows uh, that's how you install um, you you can do the same for the Mac as well but there is another option for the Mac you can go to the App Store and search for this uh, I have already searched and uh, installed that's why you see open here now once you install it um, you can open it by so it will show up in the um, uh, the launch pad as well um, this is the icon this is the app in the launch pad and if you click this one it will open this user interface and uh, now you can drag and drop or simply uh, add files through this uh, button uh, the easiest uh, I find is the drag and drop um, and for example I, I want to convert all these dot bob files or dot bov files which are um, which is the short of video object uh, and it's the container format in DVD video media all these videos were uh, previously uh, stored in my DVDs and then later on I copied them back to my backup portable hard drive and uh, from there I copied it back to Mac and I wanted to edit these videos using iMovie but uh, I, I found out that iMovie doesn't accept this kind of format the .pov file and so I was helpless and uh, the, I was trying to find some solution as to how I could convert it or whether there was any other way around and um, finally uh, I realized I had to convert it to the acceptable format there are several acceptable formats uh, uh, like the dot mov or, or, or mp4 etc this is a, such a nice software you can select either only one file or several files and um, you can work on all of them all at the same time so uh, I will uh, drag all of these files here and you see all of them in the list and you could have done the same by clicking here and then opening the file browser and going there uh, and selecting the files but uh, um, sometimes the drag and drop is the uh, easiest and the simplest way to work on it uh, now once you have added the files that you wanted to convert to uh, the format of your choice you uh, select all of them also you specify where you want to save after the conversion uh, the, this process will produce new files for each of them so um, currently the uh, the uh, the name of this file is this vts underscore zero one underscore one dot vob later it will produce a new file of the same name but with different extension like uh, if you choose the output uh, to be in the dot um, mov format then it will be this name dot mov and you can choose where to put all that output file uh, here for example I'm choosing uh, you can choose anywhere in this case I'm choosing here um, and all of these will have uh, output uh, with dot mov extension but with the same name so once you have selected that once you have selected the format you can select um, various formats I think this free version will allow only some limited output formats but uh, for now I'm okay because uh, that's the, these are the acceptable formats for iMovie and uh, iMovie editor and so um, I'm okay um, and I was really happy to be able to convert the uh, existing movies and be able to edit later on so 
uh, once you do that you simply hit this convert button there are many other options uh, but I didn't need them for now so you may explore them and learn more about it but uh, for now I just wanted to show you how to convert from one format to the uh, other um, here uh, from dot pov to dot mov now uh, let me hit so now it will take some time to convert all of these files and once uh, it is done you will have all these new output files that you can work on so that's how you do it um, i hope you can do that as well thank you so much